Welcome. On today's video, we're going to have a little bit of fun and do a little bit of um, audience participation. Uh, I had a request to do this video uh, from a good friend. Uh, they asked me if I could do a video showing the difference between um, hardware distortion, like this, uh, compared to simulation distortion, which is done 100% um, in the computer, in the studio. So I thought would be fun was uh, I'll put a test and see if you guys can figure out which one is which. So I've, I'm going to write uh, seven different uh, little 10, probably eight to 10 second uh, little riffs here and there. Uh, and I, I don't know, I'll name them by fruit just so we can um, identify them. Uh, listen to them, see if you can figure it out. And at the end of the video, uh, I'll do a reveal to say which one was uh, one of these, which is a full um, like amp and cab uh, mic'd up, or if it was one done directly out of the computer and see if you can tell the difference. Um, I'm gonna do all seven different types of songs just to shape it up a bit and give it something different. And after that, uh, I'll give my final thoughts and we can have a quick chat about it. Just before we go into the uh, music part of this video, I just want to talk about a few different ways on how we capture our guitar sound. So the first way is the more traditional way, which is with the amp head, um, the cabinet speakers, and normally assisted by uh, a pedal, whether it be distortion, fuzz, or any other type of pedal to give it a little bit more flavor um, to whatever your liking is. So for this setup, um, you plug your guitar in here, um, we mic up the cab speakers, it goes into our mixing console and that's how the sound is captured. Uh, the second way is via a device like this. So this is, I don't know how to best describe it, it's a simulator for lack of a better term. So this will simulate um, an amp and different speakers for you, um, giving you the options to switch around just by a simple dial. Um, how these things work is you plug straight in here, this goes straight into your mixing console and that's how you capture the sound. So no microphones are required or um, soundproof rooms or, or rooms designed to, to uh, be recorded with. So it takes up very little desk space and can be uh, quite convenient. The third way is what we call in the box. And when we use the term in the box, we're referring to um, everything in the computer. So you don't need any external um, hardware or equipment for it. Uh, so I've got it set up right there uh, behind me as one example. So as you can see on the screen, you've got the amp head and uh, the speaker cabinet. And that one's a little bit fancy because it's got uh, different microphones you can choose to move around to get different uh, sounds. So what you need for that setup is you plug your guitar straight into your interface and that's it. And then that, uh, that program will do everything else for you. Uh, so the last one has the least amount of chains uh, compared to the rest here. So for the purpose of this video, it's just a fun challenge to uh, see, see how you go picking which one's what. We're going to leave this one aside because otherwise uh, we might make this video a little bit too busy and uh, too much going on. So it will be between uh, one of two things. The sound will either be coming from uh, this, which uh, is an analog setup. So we're going to have an analog setup which I'll be setting up either this amp or maybe another amp I've got um, and I'll use different pedals to give it a little bit different flavors and all that so no two sounds are going to be the same uh, and I'm going to mic that up going through uh, my mixing console. So it's either going to be the analog setup with that or the digital setup which I'll be changing around those settings around for each different take too. So no two takes are ever gonna be the same. So when you're listening to it, it's either gonna be um, analog or digital. Um, so if you've got a pen and paper, uh, now's the time to grab it and see how you go, write down as you go. And after that, we'll go through and I'll give the results of what each one is and see how you do and definitely um, we'll have a talk about it at the end to see what ones are surprising and what ones weren't.
And um, this is going to be lots of, lots of fun. So let's play some metal. all the different recordings, some being uh, analog, some being digital. Uh, let's go to the results and see how many uh, you got correct. And then we'll have a quick chat about it afterwards. And they're the results in um, whether it was digital or analog recording. Um, yeah, very keen to hear how many you got right. Um, I'm sure you could tell the difference between 
uh, each different take, but did you identify which ones were digital and which ones were mic'd up and recorded um, analog? And which one did you prefer? Were there any ones that stood out for you? Uh, did you prefer the analog uh, with its characteristics, picking up with the, how, I, how I mic them up, or did you prefer the digital on, on their different characteristics on how they turned out? Um, for me personally, it was, it was interesting because I've dealt with digital um, and analog for many years now, but I've never really put them back to back. Um, there's so many of them uh, in such a small period or pretty much in one, one sitting. Um, so I was really surprised on the digital uh, replicas, how they even got a lot of the, um, like the hiss and a couple of little niggly noises. As engineers, you wanna uh, try to get rid of to try clean up. Uh, which I think is a positive thing because that means you can push the digital amps as much as you would normally push um, the analog amps. So, which is fine for me because as an engineer, I approach digital ones the same as I would the analog ones. So my um, train of thought on how I approach it is exactly the same, uh, which is definitely comforting. Um, I mean, even a lot of them looked very similar to the analog stuff, uh, which is, also uh, comforting. Um, so yeah, keen to know what standouts you would have had uh, listening to all these, which ones you'd preferred. Um, it was a fun, fun video to put together. Uh, if you have any uh, requests that you'd like me to try or to do, uh, definitely get in contact and I'll see what I can do as uh, this was my first uh, video request. Um, in saying that, thank you very much for um, watching this and uh, whether it be in the foreground or the background i definitely appreciate uh, you being part of the ride so until next time stay safe